opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The modern defense plays g6 to fianchetto the dark squared bishop on g7, where it will attack the center from the long diagonal. d4 takes full control of the center and opens up for more development. bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. And c3 defends the e4 pawn and puts more pressure on the d5 square. d6 defends the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. bg2 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. It is the last book move. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is excellent. Takes back. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. This ignores an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. It is a miss. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is excellent. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is good. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. The knight now occupies an outpost, a secure square in the opponent's territory. It is best. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This overlooks a better way to block an attack on a vulnerable queen. It is an inaccuracy. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. This overlooks a better way to recapture a piece. It is a miss. This wins material. This is the only good move. It is a great move. That was a truly amazing move. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. It is best. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only good move. It is brilliant. This defends a rook that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Takes back. It is best. Recaptures. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. This stops the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to create a passed pawn. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. 
This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a great move. Takes back. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. The rooks are coordinated and powerfully doubled on the file. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This pushes a passed pawn. It is best. This activates the king in the end game by getting it off of the back rank. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is good. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. It is a miss. Very precise. It is best. Black was better off, but now their position is winning. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. This makes a passed pawn, meaning no opposing pawn can challenge it on its way to promotion. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This misses an opportunity to recapture a piece from a previous move. This allows the opponent to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is an inaccuracy. This pins a pawn, which restricts its mobility. It is excellent. This wins material. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. This stops the opponent from being able to kick a rook. It is good. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. Both players navigated the middle game well. Black found some nice moves in the middle game.